That's Dan and Josh. My name is Mark. I play in a band called Blink-182. They play in a band with the worst grammar ever, You, Me at Six, <laughs> and you're watching the Kerrang! Video Podcast. Hi, I'm Josh. And I'm Dan. And you are? My name is Mark, and I play in a band called Blink-182. Very nice. Uh, we're here to ask you some questions about the Reading Leeds experience and all things Blink-182 orientated. Mm -hmm. um, how's the weekend been so far? It's been cold, muddy, rainy, loud, and a lot of fun. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Was last night good? Last night was really fun. It was really uh, a lot of people there, and yeah, we had a good time. It was fun. Yeah. What's your... How does it feel to uh, be headlining such a prestigious festival? Well, now that you put it that way, nerve-wracking. Uh, yeah. um, before, it was just a, a super fun show I was looking forward to, and now <laughs> we're headlining a prestigious festival, so yeah. now the pressure's on. Yeah. No, we're really honored. We're honored to be here. We're stoked to be back in the UK playing these shows. And, you know, I grew up watching MTV and seeing, you know, reports from the Reading Festival, and it was like Nirvana, Sonic Youth, and Dinosaur Jr. all hanging out backstage. Yeah. And uh, watching those videos and thinking like, oh my gosh, wouldn't it be awesome to play in a band? And then cut to, you know, five years later. No, <laughs> cut to 20 years later. Uh, we're here uh, headlining Reading. It's awesome. Yeah. Have you had a, had a chance to catch any bands this weekend? Or uh, I've rolled up and been able to watch. Um, I actually got to hear some of Cypress Hill today. I think they went off. Uh, Weezer's obviously killing it. Paramore last night was great. And, you know, a lot of my friends' bands are actually playing these shows, so it's cool to see everybody. Yeah, it's been nice. See you next one. So, uh, a new album, how's it going? It's going good. We have a lot of ideas, and as soon as we get off of this tour and get back to the States, it's on and cracking. Yeah. yeah. Who are you, who are you uh, recording it with? You know, have you... Right now, just ourselves. Just We're doing it ourselves. You know, we've, we've recorded so many albums on our own and learned from... Jerry Finn, who I think is the best producer ever. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure we're going to use a producer, but we might. Okay. And when can we expect that to come out in the UK or worldwide even? We're hoping to turn <coughs> it into the label by the end of this year, and as soon as they can figure out a way to put it out. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like when you first started kind of getting back together and practicing as Blinken? Was it strange? Was it a nice feeling, or was it kind of a bit like obscure at the same time? No, it was great. It felt like, you know, felt like old times right away. There wasn't any like weird um, strangers in the room. I think that everybody was so respectful of one another okay. that uh, we needed to go out on tour before we started recording. Because we first reformed and then we went to the studio and started coming up with all these ideas. And then we were like, you know what? We're, we're too ginger with one another. Let's go out on tour, experience the highs and lows of being on tour, get back to being a three-piece band, and then go into the studio and cut the record. Yeah, very nice. Sounds awesome. What about you? <coughs> how, was your, how about you guys? How was your set? How are you enjoying this weekend? <laughs> it was great. Sorry. It was uh, nerve wracking to play a prestigious festival, mm -hmm. as you said. Uh, but no, it was a lot of fun. It's. Um, I think for us, it's like it's one of those things. This is our first time on like a main stage. So it's almost hard for us to enjoy it. It was almost one of those. I was on edge the whole time, and then when right. it was done, there was such a relief to be like, oh, we got through it, kind of thing. But the the crowd was amazing. Like it was. It was phenomenal. That's weird because I heard that I heard that the reception wasn't so good for you guys. No, I, at all. Oh, so you, I, heard yeah. that, I heard a lot of people like booing and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, guys? no. Uh, what, it was when we we said, "Are you guys looking forward to Blink One Eight Two? Oh, yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Booing. that makes sense for me. Then. That <laughs> yeah, makes total that's sense. What's uh, Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, the problem that we're running into is Blink is that we're the last band on the last day, and so I'm pretty sure that everyone's going to leave by the time we hit the stage. So <laughs> the pressure's really off. Yeah. You know, they all got home. Nah, I'm sure. I'm sure they'll be waiting around. They'll be muddy. Um, is that it from us? I think that might be it. I think, yeah, yeah, we've taken enough, enough of your time. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Very Have much a great for my set. Time. Thank Good you. Luck. Appreciate it. And enjoy it. Thank All you. Right. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs>